Hello everyone and in this cell signaling lecture we are going to talk about GPCR signaling or G protein coupled receptor signaling pathway. G protein coupled receptor signaling is huge because there are so many different signaling pathways linked to G protein coupled receptor. G protein coupled receptor are seven transmembrane receptor present in the surface of the cell and upon binding of cell signaling molecules to the GPCR various area of signaling works in the cytosol and ultimately triggers the activation of transcription factors that can ultimately cross talk and allow the cell to grow and divide and proliferate. So these cell signaling pathways are related to cell cellular growth and amplification. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the GPCR signaling molecule, GPCR receptor itself and the GPCR signaling pathway animation. So let's first talk about the basics of GPCR coupled cell signaling. The signaling molecule used here are various type. It can be biogenic amines like dopamine, histamine, acetylcholine. It can be amino acid or ions like GABA, calcium, glutamate. It can be different lipids like LPA prostaglandins, leukotrienes, it can be peptides and proteins like chemokines, thrombin, it can be other kind of ligand, other kind of factors like light, odorants, nucleotides. So GPCRs can be stimulated and activated by various array of stimuli. It can be chemical, it can be other like light, odorant and nucleotide stimuli. The receptor is G protein coupled receptor, GPCRs are seven transmembrane proteins trans spanning the membrane seven times the example some example of gpcrs include beta adrenergic receptors which bind epinephrine prostaglandin e2 receptors which binds inflammatory substances called prostaglandins and rhodopsin which contains a photoreactive chemical called retinal that responds to light signal received by the rod cells of the eye these are the three diverse array of examples of gpcr coupled cell signaling what is the role of GPCR signaling? Proliferation, cell survival, cell growth, migration and geogenesis and can lead to metastasis. Growth and groups of GPCR. Recent phylogenetic studies indicate most human GPCRs can be grouped into five main families. Glutamate family, rhodopsin family, adhesion family, frizzled or test 2 family and secretin family forming the graphs classification system known as G, R, A, F and S. Enough regarding the GPCR signaling pathway basics. Now let's look into the GPCR pathway animation, GPCR signaling animation. So to understand that, we'll classify and break the signaling process down starting from the receptor and G protein in the cell membrane, the neurotransmitter which will stimulate the G protein. For simplicity, here we will see three different examples of three types of neurotransmitters because these neurotransmitters always can trigger the G proteins. And we will talk about the effector protein, second messengers and later effector molecules in the cytoplasm. So let's begin with the signaling molecule which in this case is neurotransmitters, three different types of neurotransmitter, norepinephrine, glutamate and dopamine. And there are completely three different GPCRs found for their signaling molecules. So now GPCRs for norepinephrine, glutamate and dopamine. For norepinephrine, green in color, for glutamate, blue and for dopamine, orange in color. Now let's look at the process and talk about the effector proteins and how they work. Once the norepinephrine binds to the GPCR on the surface of the cell and then G S alpha and beta gamma this is the G protein which carries an alpha and beta gamma unit they get associated to the GPCR and from here the alpha unit dissociates from beta gamma unit and this alpha unit is going to activate the first cytosolic effector molecule that is adenylate cyclase this adenylate cyclase is going to activate a second messenger cyclic AMP the cyclic AMP is going to amplify and activate protein kinase A which act as a letter effector molecule which is going to increase the protein phosphorylation event in the cell. And this protein phosphorylation event in the cell allows the cell to receive the proliferation signal thus further growth of the cell. The glutamate's binding to the glutamate GPCR then triggers the association of G protein GQ alpha beta gamma unit. Now once 
this alpha G protein associate with the glutamate GPCR. Again, the alpha subunit dissociates from beta gamma. Then this alpha subunit is going to activate the effector protein for phospholipase C. This phospholipase C is going to break itself down into DAG, diacylglycerol, and inositol trisphosphate IP3, which both are acting as a second messengers. Now, this DAG, diacylglycerol, will further activate protein kinase C as a later effector molecule. And IP3 causes the release of calcium from the internal compartments of the cell. Now, both protein kinase C and calcium releases and increase the protein phosphorylation and activation of calcium binding proteins. On the other hand, the dopamine associated GPCR pathway, when the dopamine binds to the dopamine GPCR receptor, then again, a variety of G protein, a different type of G protein, GI alpha beta gamma gets associated to the cytosolic site. Again, the alpha unit dissociates from beta gamma and what they do here is that instead of directly activating something here, they initiate a inhibitory signal. It inhibits adenylate cyclase. So dopamine's binding to the dopamine GPCR causes the inhibition of adenylate cyclase, which is against or anti to the work of norepinephrine because binding of norepinephrine to the GPCR receptor causes the activation of adenylate cyclase but binding of dopamine to the GPCR receptor causing the inhibition of adenylate cyclase. And then this inhibited form of adenylate cyclase cannot activate cyclic AMP thus no activation of protein kinase thus the process of protein phosphorylation is not possible. So this process is always activated by dopamine. So these are three different GPCRs and you saw with norepinephrine, glutamate and dopamine how the effector protein, second messengers and effector molecules are activated and they work together. So that's all about GPCR mediated cell signaling pathway and GPCR cell signaling pathway animation. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future.